Caitlin, Lindsay, how do you feel? It's the last day. Are you guys ready it's to do this? Yeah, it's very bittersweet. It feels weird. I realized that we were gonna be like rapping, rapping, and I was like, what do I do oh. with my life now? Well, now you can go back to all the things you love, like not sweating and getting bitten by bugs all the time. Look, the, sweating for the crap. Yeah, there's nothing to go back to. It's 2020, baby. I'm like the LaCroix of knowledge. I have a hint of it. Today, I'm most excited because... Oh, you actually asked a question. I didn't ask a no, question. You just asking yourself a question. Nasties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lindsay. I don't want Those it. of us left behind, too. Pack up. Let's go. No. Okay. Okay, well, sum up this shoot for us in three different words. Oh, God. The whole shoot. Memorable. I want to say important. Um... <laughs> Wacky. Absolutely. <laughs> Ambitious, hot, and totally worth it. Dirty, this is a phrase, but deliciously pretty. Oh, I'd say fun. Ambitious, challenging, but like in a good way. Just meaningful. Sweaty, I don't think I've ever sweat more in my life. Locations, gratifying. Sweaty, patient, rewarding. It's hot, it's very fun. And challenging. Exciting, demanding, and pizza, <laughs> actually. <laughs> um, no fun. We did eat a lot of pizza, though. We did eat a lot of pizza. Patrick, you working hard or hardly working? Just keeping the actors happy, you know? Actors make the film. And me. Um, best part, worst part for the shoot? I feel like the best part was just the people I got to work with. Listen up, boy. I've seen many, many city sleepers come down these year roads, these year trails. They think they're ready for the great Alaskan wilderness, but they ain't. If you're gonna pick your toes like a monkey, do it down, when <laughs> You always bring your mat. You always bring yourself a compass. You always bring yourself 42 days of provisions. That's when Jesus stayed in the desert. Because people forget that he was out there 40 days, but he had to spend one day journey and then one day journey, and now it's 42. Compass. <laughs> Worst part, the uh, the heat and the bugs. Well, if I say Alex, then everyone will be jealous because it's always Alex. Let's be honest, Alex is the reason why any of us were there. The worst part of the shoot was when I accidentally almost dumped David's car down a ravine because I was trying to back up through a mud pit on a narrow pass. <laughs> Wait, stop, stop, stop! <laughs> Yo, you're very close to this tree over here. Lindsay and Connor had a shot and I walked through a spider web and I was out of frame and I couldn't scream so I just was silently screaming in my hand. The best part is just being around everybody and getting to do something creative. Okay, the best part is just shooting it. I like shooting it. The worst part is not getting the shot that I want. The best part and the worst part were probably the same thing. The best part is that you know, all these people working together, they uh, never gave anything less than 100%. But also, that was simultaneously the worst part because giving 100% over eight days of shooting, roughly about like 70 hours of work, is really exhausting, especially when you're outside and just like sweating and getting bitten by chiggers and ticks and everything else. The best part was to finally kind of see something that I'd seen as a script come together. And there was this one sheet, scene we were shooting and I just like watched the footage and I was like, this is it, this is a movie. It was just like this very overwhelming thing of watching something that was only once on a page actually like coming to life and like actually becoming real. Worst part, um, probably dehydration and kind of getting hangry a lot. Best part was getting to create art with people that take it seriously and are good at what they do and great people. Worst part were the bugs. For sure the bugs. The best part was seeing all the actors come together and seeing all of their talent. And then the worst part was trying to get the input levels correct for Connor's scenes when he's whispering and yelling within two seconds of each other. <laughs> One thing you learned from the film about yourself or about art or about filmmaking? Yeah, I, I don't like nature. Critical lesson that uh, I was taught during this whole process was driving a car backwards next to two ravines on a very narrow pass when there happens to be a lot of mud is a little bit more dangerous than I gave credit. You can never do enough pre-production. When you think you're done doing pre-production, keep doing it and then never stop. Honestly, just uh, how many shots you have to take 
just to get a single moment. Well, anything in my teeth? David, you can edit that out. Being on location like we were in the grass and the water, the rocks, the hiking, all that stuff okay. is very fun. Cute. Filming is very collaborative. Open yourself up to the experience of the world. Art always will find a way. We were in a time period where no one was really working on anything and we were fortunate enough to make that work while being safe as possible. Uh, it was a pleasure and it won't be the last. Lindsay, this is your last take. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to say goodbye? No. Aww. Alex, are you ready to record what? Lindsay saying goodbye? No. And cut. Alex, should we get it? I think so. I think so. I think we got it. See ya.